Hi guys, it's Chris. Um, I have a busy night tonight. Let me tell you, I have three three reviews I have to do um, uh, tonight or hauls. Um, I actually my first one. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be busy tonight with these videos. But my first one, I got. I was so excited about this order because I had had a couple. Um, what you call it? A couple tarts from this company before, and sorry, I had melted them before, and I was like so so. I melted a few. Very in love with them. Like I have my faves. So um, when I found out she doesn't really do sales a lot, so when I found out she was having a sale, I jumped right on it. Now. I'm going to explain to you how good this sale was. This sale was amazing. Um, this is Happy Hippie Scents. Um, I have here for the scent descriptions, I have my database pulled up. But um, this is a Weebly.com shop. So um, if you go to happyhippiescents.weebly.com, you'll find her shop. Um, it's run by Hope Huffman, and such a sweet girl. Love her, love her, love her, love her. I just love her. I really do. She's great. Um, so she had posted in her Facebook group that she was going to do a sale because I think someone commented, "Oh, is it, you know you do you ever do any sales kind of thing, whatever." Um, and she said, "No, but you know what? Maybe maybe I'll do one." So she did this amazing sale, which to me was just absolutely perfect. She does, oh, it's so hard to describe, guys. She does these peace pies. She does these, um, what is it called? Uh, um, peace pies. And she has scoopables. She has, um, oh, what are they called? Hold on. Tart bowls, um, loaves, scoopables, tart bowls. Um, really, really cool. So she was doing a sale on her two ounce hippie square, which was amazing to me because this is what I had. I think I got them in a D stash and I had like maybe six of them or something. And I melted one and in my 24 watt burner and hot plate and it was okay you know what I mean it was like mm, okay like you know the throw was decent um nothing that I like was like oh my god like amazing you know I wasn't like blown away about by it so when she had this sale I said okay you know what I'm gonna give it another shot like I said I usually give people more than one shot unless you know, they're way overpriced and I just don't, they don't have any scents that I really like or whatever. But she had a lot of scents that I like. She has some really cool, they're, you know, they got hippie names to them and stuff like that. Um, it's, they're really cool. Um, and then she has her like regular scents, which is, you know, the, what you'll normally find. Um, otherwise she has like her hippie blends, which are really, really neat. <clears throat> Her turnaround time is about one week. Um, it says on this page. Oh, these are custom made items. I'm not sure. This is anyway where I'm finding the hippie squares. So anyway, they're two ounce squares. Just they're just two ounce squares of wax, and I'll show them to you in a second. And they are normally two dollars and twenty five cents. Normally, that's way over my price range. Like anything over two dollars an ounce. I normally don't buy. Um, so when I got the D stash and I had like six of them, I kind of hoarded them. I did melt one. I can't remember. I can't recall what the scent was, but I did melt one. And like I said, it wasn't blown away, but she had so many other choices that I really, really wanted to um, try. I really, you know, other scents that I really wanted to try. So uh, I was a little disappointed that it probably wasn't going to happen because 225 
you know, and then you pay shipping and everything for two ounces of wax just is not in my price range normally. So what she's doing right now is they're two twenty five right now, but she's doing free shipping. So that actually, I mean, that helps. Free shipping always helps. Um, love it. She also has two ounce hippie square blends where you can blend two of your favorite scents together. So you can like make up your own hippie square. Um, I don't know if those were on sale or not because they're the same price, but I don't know if those were on sale or if it was just the two ounce um, squares. But anyway, the two ounce squares were on sale for 99 cents, guys. 99 cents for two ounces. I jumped all over it. So I ordered 27 squares. I ordered 27 squares. Um, so my bill came to, the shipping handling is, I think it's flat rate, it was $6.99. My bill came to for 27 squares. Came with shipping and handling came to 33.72. So, I mean, that was like amazing. Um cuz 28, no, 27. Why I keep saying why I keep saying? Oh, I know why I keep saying 28. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. So, 27 Okay, so it's 54 ounces of wax for 33.72. That's obviously way below my dollar an ounce budget. So, like I said, jumped all over it. 27 cents. Um, cents, not cents like in dollars and cents, but cents. 27 fragrances that I ordered. So, I just got done doing um, her database. So, it was... Took me a little bit, but anyway, I'm going to show you, I'm going to pull some of these out. I'm going to pull them all out. I'm going to dump them out here. Oh my God. There's so many of them, you guys. So this is probably going to be a long video, but what I wanted to show you, what I got as an extra, as a freebie that she threw in. Okay. Look how cute that is. And this cello, it is so cute. This bag is just so adorable. This is what, this is one of her tart bowls. And these normally go for, let me see, where are they? <clears throat> $12.50. So, and this is 11 ounces of wax. So add the 50, what did I say? The 54, no, I think I shut it. I think I shut my calculator. Whatever, like the 54 ounces plus 11, you know, 60 something ounces for $33. You can't beat it. Um, but I have to show you this because this thing is so cute. And I don't remember if, if it was $9.99, if it was 99 cents, and then if you ordered over $25, you got a free bowl or not. Because I don't remember that part. I don't I was in total shock when I received this because I didn't remember this part. But this is so cute. But this is a scent that I would definitely have ordered. So I'm thinking, unless she said to me, what are your, what's one of your favorite scents? Okay, but look at this. Oh my God, it's so adorable. I'm hoping my camera picks this up. See how it's sparkling? Look how sparkly it is. It's so cute. These little embeds are just so adorable. You got your little heart and your little... Happy face. And look at the stone. The dream stone. Like, this is too cute to even, like, scoop. But it's got all this glitter on it. It's just so cute. Like I said, I'm not a glitter person. But this is adorable. And the fragrance. I mean, obviously, I'm going to let this stuff, all these, all of these cure. Um, oh, my God. But this key lime pie is just amazing. I love it. My daughter thought it was a little, like, oof. I, I'm not finding that at all. I think it's perfect. I love it. Um, you get a teeny tiny hit of, bake, of bakery, but I'm glad that the lime is really um, the main focus. Oh, it's awesome. But this is 11 ounces, guys. I'm going to show you again. Look at it. Look at how cute it is. Look at it. Look at all the sprinkles. Oh! <gasps> 
it's adorable. And you could you could have done it. Um, in fact, I think she did tell me to pick a scent or something. Or you could have done the in beds as one scent, and then the actual wax, you know, the scoopable wax is something else. But I just didn't get that picky, so I just did the key lime. Oh, it's amazing. But I could have done like say key lime wax with. Um, I, I don't think this is one of her scents, but like with banana in beds or something like that. You know, um, but I didn't do that. So, this was just amazing. 11 ounces for free. So, the sale was just absolutely amazing. I hope she has more because I will definitely order again. And the reason I will order again is I will tell you. When I mentioned earlier that I remember putting one in and not being all that, you know, whatever, into my 24 watt because that's all I had at the time. Well, I recently, well, not all that recently. I now have a bunch of different warmers. I have a ton of I have bulb warmers. I have uh, different wattage bulb warmers. I have different wattage hot plate warmers. Um, but I put one of my fave scents, which is in my database, is called Mud Puddle. And I melted the one, or yeah, I melted the one today that <clears throat> had been curing in my inventory and what this mud puddle is is it's coffee chocolate cake and some hints of sugar cookies and I have it you know fave and everything on my database because I just loved it so I said you know what let me give it a shot put it in my 18 watt warmer and oh my god you guys like oh my Salvatore like insane it is so amazing like it's strong but it's not over strong or like it gives you a headache but in the 18 watt it is just I'm sure it would probably be well maybe it wouldn't so say it'd probably be stronger in the 24 watt but maybe it wouldn't because a lot of times you know you think that that's going to be the cure-all or whatever and it just kind of duds out like it just kind of fizzles and it, it just doesn't work the way you're expecting it to um but in my 18 watt it is amazing. I just I'm, I'm just walking around the house and I, I I can to me it's amazing. A scent is amazing to me when I can sit here right here. Like I said, my warmer is about two feet from me, and I can smell it. I have been smelling this for about six or seven hours now, and it's just as strong as when it first started going. It's amazing um so like I said maybe that's a you know happens to be a strong scent I don't know but you know I don't normally do the whole melting and warm reviews I do what I've melted and give you an impression um I do, I do those videos but um people are like oh you should do more you know melting videos well it's hard because you know you, you kind of have to melt one and get an impression and then you know that takes a couple kind of it kind of takes a couple hours I mean for me and for my nose anyway it's like I'll notice something right off the bat and then I'll tend to maybe not just because maybe I'm not paying attention or I'm doing other things and I'm just not really you know noticing the um you know the scent that much and then I'll walk around and I'll go oh my god like I'll catch a whiff of it or whatever but here and there and everything like that um but it's just this, I mean, I walked into the hallway, I walked into my, in, into, not the bedroom, because the bedroom um, door was closed, but I walked into the hallway that goes into my bathroom and everything like that, and it's just, it's basically filling up the whole first floor. So it's really, really, really nice. Love it. Mud puddle. Co and coffee and chocolate, that's like my downfall. Anything coffee and chocolate. I'm not catching like a ton of the sugar cookie, but I... Actually, I, I can catch it. It's 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 funny. It's a um, like the coffee is not like a strong espresso kind of coffee, but it's just the three just meld together perfectly. Love mud puddle. Love that scent. Um. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on to what I have here. Um, I had everything in alphabetical order, but then I threw it all in the box. So this isn't an alpha in any kind of alphabetical order, and like I said. I'm definitely going to cure her stuff more. 
um, she used, what you call it, she used um, ice packs. I know with the summer months and everything, people are like, you know, oh, ice packs, ice packs. You just got to make sure that you have the ones that don't, um, that don't like sweat because then if you have labels, then the labels are going to get like kind of yucky. So like when I first opened it up, everything was kind of wet and I was like, oh no, you know, like it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't like soaking wet, but like some of the labels I was like, Ooh! so I just laid them all out, let them dry. They dried fine, perfectly wonderful. There was not an issue, but this one's called grapefruit and sage. Um, I realized going through my database that huge, I wish I had kept these in alphabetical order because it would have been so much easier for me to just go through them here for you. But um, I got a lot of grapefruit scents, which I don't know. I've been on a grapefruit um, kick anyway. But this is grapefruit and sage, and this is described as grapefruit is predominant with hints of sage. This is really nice. I... I don't see the, um, the grapefruit is definitely predominant. It's not that t really tangy in your face grapefruit yet. Like I said, I'm going to let it care. Um, and I can catch, I, I get the hints of sage too, which is really, really nice. So I think that once this is cured and this grapefruit cures and gets its tang, I hope it really gets its tang. The tang comes out. Oh, because I just love grapefruit scents. Um, this grapefruit and sage is lovely. like it. Um, next is Flirtatious. This is a Scentsy type. Now, I'm not going to be able to tell you. I'm not a huge Scentsy person. I just melted my first Scentsy, which I'm going to do in my... Um, what I've been melting or what I've melted this week um, review probably I don't, know. I don't know if I'm gonna wait a week or two weeks or whatever but um, I'm gonna do it in a little in, in a little, little further down the line but I melted my first Scentsy and I have my first Scentsy warmer um, that I'm that I own and you know it's okay but so anyway this isn't about Scentsy this is about hippie happy sense happy hippie sense and, um, but I'm not going to be able to really tell you, oh yeah, this is a true Scentsy type. It's true to its, you know, name because I don't really know Scentsy all that well in their sense. But this is called Flirtatious and it's a combination of green apple, grape, grapefruit, and white amber. Now, okay, she didn't, oh, she scared me. I thought she cellowed the... Um, label and I was going to have a heart attack but so this is this is oops, this one get huh, this one's a little oily on the inside that's kind of weird because the, the the tart itself isn't really oily but you know what I'm going to pull this one out just so you can see it. Now, again, with 100% soy, this is this is what a lot of people um, mention. It's really hard. So you'll see see all the smudging on the bag. It's really hard, and especially in the winter months. I mean, in the summer months, it's really really hard to. This is really soft. Um, it's really hard to. not have, you know, not have smudge on your silo bags. You know, I mean, if you're going to have paraffin, that's different, but with soy, but this is, this is, I mean, this is a really nice soy. It really is. It's nice and oily, which I, I love. Um, but look at this chunk. This is, I put one of these, again, I put one. These look bigger than two ounces to me, guys. She claims they're two ounces, but I mean, I have two ounce scent shots. Well, actually, I should I shouldn't say that because two ounces a two ounce scent shot is not two ounces. A two ounce scent shot is like one more like 1 1.7, 1, 1.8. This is probably a true two ounce, 
and it's amazing. So you could even cut this in half if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to try that with my 14 watt um, party light LED with these. I'm going to try cutting them, cutting them in half. But this is flirtatious. Um, I think I definitely have to let all this stuff cure. Guys, unfortunately, because... Or this could just be a light scent. I'm not getting too much from this. This is supposed to be... What is this supposed to be again? Uh, green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. And I'm getting all three, but I'm getting them very faint. So this is a very light scent. Now, maybe it's supposed to be a light scent. I don't know. I can't tell you because, like I said, I don't know Scentsy. I'm sorry. i got to move my stuff over there. Okay. This is... Okay. I'll, actually, I'll be able to tell you from this one if, if the stuff really needs to, needs to cure because this is Mud Puddle. This is what I was telling you that I, I'm melting right now. But the mud puddle that I have melting has been curing for months. Like at least four months. Um, so, oh my God, it was so good. So this, again, mud puddle is one of my favorites. It's coffee, chocolate cake, and, oh, chocolate cake, not just chocolate. Chocolate cake and hints of sugar cookie. No, this, this is just a strong one. This is a really strong one, guys, because I can just, oh my God. This is amazing. This really is amazing. Just the three of those scents together is, and I'm glad because I saw sugar cookie and I was like, oh, you know, like, I don't know, but I had already had this in my database as a favorite. So that's why I ordered it again. Because then when I reread the scent, I saw the, the scent description, I'm going, oh, sugar cookie. Really? That was one of my favorites? But it was, and it still is. It's amazing. It's it's not overpowering in the sugar cookie. Um, I'm getting mostly chocolate from it, but or I get mostly chocolate. But then when you burn it, you kind of smell all three of them, and it's just a really really great combination. Um, this one is called. He sent me up. They're just the names are really. Some of the names are really really cute. So he sent me up is sandalwood. Blended with orange and hints of lavender. Now, if anybody who knows me knows I'm a big sandalwood fan. I love it. And this is what I love, too, with Hope, is that... I mean, look at this cube. It's really big, you guys. It really is. I mean, this is a bit. This is a nice big cube. Nice and thick. Nice and thick and big. Nice and thick and big, just like Chris likes it. Um, he sent me up. And this is what I like about Hope is that, see, she labels and packages these correctly, just like I do. A little OCD going on, but see, the resealable part is on the back. It's not on the front where the label is. It's not, the label doesn't cover it. You don't have to rip your label. You can then just seal it back up without any issues. It's wonderful. So this is and i like that because if i want to give some away do a de-stash or a giveaway contest kind of thing whatever whatever you know it doesn't look like oh look she opened it kind of thing you know it looks nice and brand spanking new but he sent me up is what is it again sandalwood i remember oh blended with orange and hints of lavender oh this is nice okay now, sandalwood's a scent that people either love it or hate it. And I personally love it. Like, straight up sandalwood, I'm down. But blended, this is blended with mostly, I'm not catching a lot of orange right now. So, for the rest of this review, guys, I'm not going to say, okay, I have to let it cure. I'm just going to let you know right now, these all have to cure. Um, so, I'm not catching a lot of orange right now. But the lavender really kind of evens out the sandalwood. So it's not, um, sandalwood tends to be really in your face. And this is not as, oh God, but it's really good. And you wouldn't think sandalwood and la lavender is not one of my favorite scents. I'll be honest. But you wouldn't think sandalwood and lavender would be like good together, but it really is. It's nice. Um, lavender kind of gives it a little like sort of powdery scent. I don't, I'm not a big powder person either. I can't stand baby powder scents. Oh, can't stand them. Um, but it just kind of gives you just enough 
to tone down the sandal a little bit. And I'm hoping once this cures that, I'm going to give this a couple months, and once it cures, the orange will come out in there because that would be an amazing, um, an amazing, oops, I think I spoke too soon. I don't know, that's coming off good. Okay, she sealed it in the front, but I can still get it. So you can see right here, she sealed it in the front but it's still coming up, so that's cool. This one's called Gypsy. Um, Gypsy is grapefruit and vanilla buttercream. Now, I took this, because it said grapefruit, I went for it, but I wasn't sure because of the vanilla buttercream. Um, because I cannot stand buttercream. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not catching a lot of grapefruit. I'm getting a little tang of grapefruit, Mostly it's vanilla buttercream. This is a really interesting scent. Like once this cures, I said I wasn't going to say cure again, but I'm sorry guys. I'm just trying to describe. Like once this cures, I'm hoping more of the grapefruit comes out because right now it's mostly the buttercream. But you can get a slight tang of the grapefruit, which is really, I don't know if I like it or not. It's It's difficult to describe because it's, it's kind of weird. It's like that one note in there that you're just sort of like, I like, I like it. And then you're like, but what's that one, you know, like what's that one smell? Like, I don't know. So gypsy, I don't know. Grapefruit and vanilla buttercream. It's called gypsy. I don't, I'm sure it'll be interesting. Um, I'm sure it'll be interesting. I'm going to give this, I think I'm going to give these three months. I'm going to give them at least three months because I guess the other ones I think were sitting there for, I'm gonna, I guess, four months. Um, This this one I had to try. I hope I'm not disappointed. This is called Dock of, did you see? Dock of the Bay. And she just writes, she's got simple labels. She just writes them all out, which works for me. I mean, as long as I can read them, it's cool. Um, Dock of the Bay. And I was really looking forward to this one because the scent description, I said, I have to have this one. Um, fresh sea air with notes of agave nectar, vetiver, and willow bark. Now, all of those right there are, that's Chris in like a little bubble. That's Chris. So I, oh no. Shoot. This one's not going to come up. Well, I'm going to make it happen. But, oh God. But she put the label underneath. Or on top of the... She folded it down. This is just me and my OCD, guys. But she folded, she sealed it, and then slapped the label on. Which, like I said, I can't stand. The label, to me, to me, this is just a cons you know from a consumer. To me, the label should be on the back side, and then the opposite side. You should seal the so that you can open and close it, you know, free will and all, and don't rip any labels. But Dock of the Bay was so looking forward to this one. Oh my god, and it's good. It is good. This is good. I'm not disappointed. And I'm sure with Cure, it's going to just get even better. Um, okay. Dock of the Bay. Where is it? Right here. I just have to type in, you guys. I'm sorry that I have to do this while you're here. But in my database, I have to type in Fave. Because it's amazing. So fresh sea air with notes of agave nectar, vetiver, and willow bark. It's just awesome. It's sea. It's sea-like, but it's green. And the vetiver kind of gives it a little bit of masculine to it. Oh, amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I know my word was amazing yesterday, and it's probably my word today, but... 
oh my god, so good, back of the bay, back of the bay, that's so, um, I put it in my fave, because I'm going to place another order, and, oh my god, is that thunder out there, I think it's thundering like crazy, um, and some of her colors are just so cute, I'm so excited when I, when the scent is done, and I do my recycle candles that I do, some of these colors are just, look at this. And I know the color doesn't come out great on your, but it is a wonderful greenish, like mossy green color, like a dark mossy green. I know it's looking blue on the monitor, but oh, it's gorgeous. And this is called, come on, Hippie Land. Um, this is described as. Oh, Play-Doh. I'm so looking forward to this. It's so funny because my daughter, I don't know if I was placing an order, but I was reading it to her, or I was reading off the site to her just in general, and I was like, oh, my God, I have to have this. I have to have this. She's like, ew, I hate the smell of Play-Doh. What are you talking about? I love the smell of Play-Doh. Love it. And I have never seen anybody else that has it ever. Oh my god. Hope got this straight on. This is amazing. I love this. And this is not, this is going to be a scent that I'm going to put in my warmer and people are going to be like, oh, I really like this. Because I almost catch hints of mint, but then it's not. It's the Play-Doh scent. It's, it smells just like Play-Doh, you guys. Oh my god. God, I just remember opening up those tubs and just putting my nose in there and, oh, uh, love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome play, like straight up Play-Doh. Straight up Play-Doh. I love it. I could probably give it to my grandson and have him sniff it and say, what does this smell like? And he would probably say Play-Doh. But anybody else, like when I warm it, they're going to probably be like, oh, I really love that. What is it? And when I go, so, go Play-Doh, they'll be like, oh, my God. God, it is Plato, but it's not something you would guess if you didn't know. It smells great. It smells awesome. Love this. This one I am also putting down as a fave. So again, throughout this video, I apologize if I am typing, but Hippie Land, which is a Plato scent, amazing. Love it, but I'm. I have to put in my database. I have to put which ones are my favorite, so I know when I reorder. Um, this one is called Hula Hoop Hippie. Now, this one was one that you got that got wet. You can see, um, the pen is a little. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's a little smudgy. But like I said, I got nervous when I when I first opened it. So I was like, oh, oh no! Like I hope it's not ruined. Um. But it, it it wasn't. I mean, it like I said, it, it dried right back up, and there's no issues whatsoever. But she looks like she just used a regular ball, ballpoint, which was probably a good idea. Had she used some sort of felt tip or something like that, it probably would have been a mess. And you probably wouldn't have been able to read the scent, which would have really stunk. But, um, so this is Hula Hoop Hippie, which is lemon lime with oranges and hints of greenery now i'm assuming because this has to cure that yeah i um it's nice fruity scent lemon lime with oranges and hints of greenery And I can catch all those. I mean, the good thing about it is that even though it needs to cure to get stronger, is that I can I can catch all of the hints of the notes. It just needs to get stronger. Because right now it's very light. And these lemon, lime, and orange, I mean, they should be in your face. So, once these cure, 
this this is going to be amazing. This is a great fruit scent. I like it a lot. Um, now we have this name just cracked me up. This was so cute. This is called Hippies and Housewives. And it has just started raining here, guys. It started pouring. Um, we've been lucky, though. Because we were supposed to get... We actually were supposed to get a ton of rain. All week, I think we were supposed to get a ton of rain. And um, we... It kind of held off. So it was really good. Like, my, my, my daughter and her boyfriend... <coughs> excuse me, my grandson, they went to the beach a um, couple days ago. And they got mad sunburn. Mad sunburn. And she's like, I use sunscreen. I'm like, yeah, okay. You probably used it once. You're supposed to just keep reapplying. I mean, she she got it the worst. She, hers was so, is so bad. But, you know, you can't tell kids anything. Whatever. So the baby didn't get it that bad. So that was good. Uh, baby. He's going to be four in October. But he's three and a half. But I keep calling him a baby. He's going to... I keep call, I keep saying the baby. People are like... What are you talking about? But anyway, this is Hippies and Housewives. This is Dandelion. Oh, this was a one that I was really looking forward to, too. Dandelion, pear, green tea leaves, and cool aloe vera. Aloe vera. Vera. Not vero. Um, now, the dandelion kind of threw me because I was like, I don't know if I like the smell of dandelion. Okay. Um, right now, what I'm smelling... is pear. Yeah. Right now I'm smelling pear. I could be smelling... Wait. Yeah, I smell a little bit of the dandelion. I'm not smelling the green tea leaves right now or the aloe vera. So I'm hoping those green notes come out more because I just am in love with green notes. But mostly what I'm smelling right now is pear. So... So when, once it cures, I'm hoping to smell the rest of those because that's a really interesting combination. And like I said, I'm in love with my green. Um, here's another Scentsy type. This is Citrus Sun Tea. Um, yeah, this is another Scentsy type. It says Southern Style... Sweet tea with zesty, with zesty citrus and lemongrass. Um, I love lemongrass. I've recent... No, no, she did it again. Oh, At least she didn't do, do it too bad, like where it's... I'm sorry, guys. Where it's halfway under the label. Because then I can reseal it. Where it's not really under the label. But I've been getting more and more into tea scents um, and iced tea scents. At first, when I first smelled them, I was like, I don't know if I like this, but I really do like them now. And mm, there's a couple vendors that have iced tea and tea samplers. i got to find them again because I, I can't remember who it was. So if anybody knows, post it below. Um, but Citrus Sun Tea... This smells good. This smells um really good. Citrus sun tea. Right now, I'm getting mostly citrus and lemongrass. I'm not really getting the sweet tea. I, you know, I shouldn't say I'm not getting it. I can get it. It's just, it's faint. But I definitely catch the zesty citrus and the lemongrass. So, I hope more tea... tea scent comes out as this cures because like I said I'm really getting into the iced tea scents there was one vendor I, and I don't remember who it was but um, had one and it just smelled straight on like iced tea and I was laughing because I said to my daughter because it's all oh, my my daughter drinks like these huge things of iced tea and I'm like I said uh I said oh you'll know this one at Chelsea and I put it in her face and she was like I have no idea. I'm like, are you serious? You don't know? She didn't know. So then she was like, oh, yeah. You know, afterwards, she's like, oh, okay, yeah. 
So this one is called Chestnuts and Brown Sugar, um, which it was another one that I, no, oh, my camera's going to do this weird thing now. Sometimes I have to use my magical fingers to make it focus on me. Um, let me see. Oh, it doesn't give you a scent description. So the scent description is chestnuts and brown sugar. That's the scent description. And this is amazing. I love this. I was afraid that this was going to smell um, too bakery. But it really does it. It really is like half. Ooh, nice like fresh roasted chestnuts. And then the brown sugar. Like, you know, have you ever opened up a bag of brown sugar and just smelled it? It's oh. oh, this is a fave. Definitely. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, when I finish this, I'll have to label those too as faves because that way when I go through my stash, I know um, what is a fave. So I will not give that one away. So I actually do the database, my database. I label it in my database and then I also label it on the label. So I don't accidentally, you know, send it out to somebody. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This one is Electric Kool-Aid and which is such a cute name. And this is Grape Bubblegum. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Can you hold on one second, you guys? I just want to get... I'm sorry. I, I just want to get a sip of my... A sip of my coffee. Oh, it's funny, too. I. This is just a quick funny story. I um, I just stick all these scents, like you can see them right there, all next to me. Well, <clears throat> this one cushion, I sleep, this is where I sleep. This is my bed, guys, okay? So <clears throat> my head goes over here with my pillows. The middle part is like where most of my body is, and then my feet are on the third cushion. Well, so this cushion right here takes quite a wear and tear, and unfortunately... Um, it has the Velcro underneath it, so when you pull it up, um, it's supposed to just, you know, stick right back, but the Velcro get, tends to get dirty and all that other stuff, so <coughs> it doesn't go back as, like, the first time, so I'm constantly, it, it sticks out further, so I'm constantly having to pull this part up and push this back. Well... I was doing a review the other day, and I don't know why what made me, I think because I was actually almost sitting in the in the crack, like the cushion had pushed forward, and I'm, I'm feeling, and I'm like, oh, so I felt something. I was like, what is this? Like this big object. I pull it out, and it was a full clamshell from one of my D-stashes from a review I had done because it had fallen behind me and gotten wedged in there. But anyway, that, so that was just funny. I was like, oh my God, I've been like laying on wax. It's like uh, the princess in the pea, except, it, except it's with wax. Um, the princess in the clamshell. So again, this is electric Kool-Aid. This is a great bubblegum smell. I love bubblegum smells. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't have my windows open, so you probably can't, but... Ooh wee! Is it? Oh, okay. Right away, I have not. I don't have the. I don't have this bag. If you can tell, anywhere near my nose, and I can smell grape. So that grape is just. Whoo! That grape is kicking. And you know what it smells like? Grape bubble gum. It smells like. What was the name? I want to say Hubba Bubba. It came in the nice, thick, 
squares. I think it was hubba bubba bubba hubba bubba bubble gum. So it's not like bazooka or anything like that, but it was like nice, thick, soft, you know, squares. It was very juicy. Ugh, really good. Um, awesome. Awesome. Love it. This is definitely, definitely, definitely a, <clears throat> a fave. Okay, and then we have, <clears throat> sorry, guys, um, Berry Lavender Lemon. Now, that's kind of a very, that's kind, to me, that's an interesting combination. Berry Lavender Lemon. So it says sweet berries, sweet lavender, and lemon balances this scent out. That's quite an interesting um, combination. This is, um, hmm. This is interesting. I can definitely get get the lavender. The lavender is a prominent note right now. I can get the berries. The lemon, I'm not sure if I'm smelling, but this is a really interesting combo. I'm going to, like I said, once this cures, I'm going to cut this one in half. And I'm going to see if I like it because it's strong. The lavender in this is super strong. Almost too strong, the lavender is. Um, but it's a very interesting combination. Hmm. Berry, lavender, lemon. I'm not sure. Like I said, once it cures, I'll cut it in half. And I will have to um, see if it's, it's a fave or not. Um, I love interesting combinations. So it could possibly be a fave if the other notes come out. This one is called Bandana. Come on. Okay, whatever. This one's called Bandana. That drives me crazy. And this is cashmere and silk. Now, I don't know. I've had other ones that are just called cashmere and silk. I don't know what cashmere and silk is supposed to smell like. So, um, this is nice. This is a very light. Um, this is a very light, sweet scent. Almost like a pink, almost like a pink sugar, but really light. Cashmere and silk. I'll have to do some more um, info on this, some, some more researching to find out what cashmere and silk is, silk is supposed to smell like. So if you know, guys, please post below. Uh, guys, I really, really love the time that you take to watch my videos and like inquiring minds like mine that I have I really really want to know I want the answer so if you guys know what cashmere and silk smells like what the notes in cashmere and silk are please post it below please I really 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 like your input and I really like to respond to you guys and I really like um to be informed so that when someone asks me a question I can answer but I do. I like this one. It's, like I guess it's a little on the light side right now. I don't quite know what the notes are. So please post below if you do know. Next is Berry Dove. This one is Berries and Sugar Cookies. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, this is one I normally wouldn't pick out for myself. I think I just wanted a certain amount. Price wise, um, yeah, 
I, I don't know. Right now I'm just catching, I'm catching mostly berries. But there is, again, that hint. The sugar cookie right now is throwing off a weird note mixed with this. Like berries and sugar cookie sounds really good together, but right now before it's cured, it's throwing off kind of a weird note. I don't want to say chemically, like 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 it sounds like a chemical. But it's just it's just a strange note right at this moment. So I will definitely go back and be sniffing these in a couple months and um letting you guys sorry, I'm an itch. Letting you guys all know how much better they smell after they've been curing for a while. This one is called Afternoon Delight. I just can't, I couldn't stop singing that song. Um, this is a fresh marine note with hints of romantic amber. Now, I love amber. I have amber perfume. I have amber body lotion. I love it. And marine. Okay, this is really, really nice. This is super light. Super duper light. The amber is making it smell almost powdery. But the marine note in here is very green. It's really nice. Oh, I like this afternoon delight. But like I said, right now it's it's quite quite on the light side. Um this one is your blue sugar. Everybody knows what blue sugar smells like. This would be the masculine version of pink sugar. And it is. Ooh, it's really good. I like it a lot. I love blue sugar. Blue sugar is definitely one of my faves. Um, let's see. I've had some great blue sugars. I've had some not so great blue sugars. That's a really good one. Okay, again, here is a... This is a Bath and Body Works type. And this is a Bahama Fizz. I don't do Bath and Body Works. So, I'm not quite sure, like I said... I'm not going to be able to tell you, oh yeah, this is definitely Bath and Body Works. Like, I'm not going to be able to tell you that. But this is um, Scents of Luscious Pineapple, Ripe Banana, and Juicy Kiwi. And this is nice. <laughs> this is really nice. I can smell all of these. And that's great because I love the smell of banana. And normally I cannot smell it. But this is great. Love it. Okay, this one I was really looking forward to trying. So I hope I'm not disappointed. This one is called Buttercup. And this one is Death by Peanut Butter Cookies and Chocolate Cupcake. Doesn't that sound good, guys? Like, oh my god, it sounds so good. And it's, it is. This is amazing. Oh my god. So what is this again? Death and chocolate chocolate cupcake. Yeah, peanut so peanut butter and chocolate. But it's more peanut butter cookie and chocolate. Oh my god. When that um cures, that's gonna be amazing. That is an absolute fave. Love it. Absolute, absolute, absolute fave. I already put it down as fave. Um, this one is a Lush type, which I'm not really into Lush. I had bad experience with Lush before. This is in candy fluff, so I don't purchase Lush, but I know people, a lot of people love their scents. Um, ooh, this is candy fluff. Which is a juice of a juice of bubblegum, a blend, a juice of 
A blend of juicy bubble gum, cotton candy, juicy apples, and pears blended together with sugared candy, lemon drops, and crushed uh, Madagascar vanilla. Um, okay. I don't know if I like this. I'm not a huge apple person. I'm getting a lot of apple right now. I'm getting a lot of apples and pears. So I'm not getting sugar candy lemon drops. I'm not getting bubble gum. I'm not getting cotton candy. And I'm not getting vanilla right now. So this is a, uh, I'm not so sure yet. I will have to check back later with that one. Um, we got a few more here. This one is bubblegum. And look at, like I held up to my screen and looked blue. It's red. But this is bubblegum. This is, I think, just your straight up, yeah, sweet bubblegum scent. So as opposed to the grape bubblegum, which was nice. Um, this is nice. This is more of a bazooka bubblegum than, like I said, the hubba bubba bubblegum, the sweet um, bubblegum. But I think Cure Time will help this because there's almost an artificial... Again, almost a chemical smell to this one, which I'm sure once it cures will be much better. This one is called Blast from the Past. And this is, oh, Spiced Plums. I was looking forward to this one because I don't have any wax. I don't do not believe in plum scents. Plum is kind of a weird scent. And this is nice. This is really, really nice. It's light right now. It's light right now, but it's really nice. Um, it's not too heavy on the spiced part, but the plum scent is like a nice juicy plum. Really nice like that but love that love it love it love it okay this one i'm sorry guys if i look so tired i am exhausted um i was supposed to do three videos tonight i think i'm only doing the one this one is called crocodile tears um this is a musk type scent it's very nice and overpowering musk so it doesn't really give you much it just says musk, which I love. Um, I do smell some musk, but I almost smell like a berry or a green, almost like a green musk. I like this. Hmm. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, where is it? Green. Oh, crocodile tears. I really like it. Um, here's your straight up coconut. Now, these I find very hard. I always order them because I'm always looking for my straight up coconut that I want. It smells absolutely amazing. And this one really does. Like I said, right now it's very light. Um, I'm hoping that... I'm hoping once it cures, it gets stronger. Because this coconut smell is your straight up natural coconut. Not mixed with anything else. Not a cocoa butter. Just your straight up natural coconut. Um, this is... Camu Camu, which is a um, Scentsy type. And I didn't even know what Camu Camu was. In fact, I wrote what it was. Um, but this is Tropical Oasis of Lush Mandarin Camu Camu, which is berry. It's kind of like a berry-like. And passion fruit. 
Ooh, I like this. This, all three of these mixed together, almost smells like a perfume. Ooh. This is very fragrant, and I really like it. It's almost, again, like a perfumey kind of um, scent. Oops. Dropping stuff here. But I'm definitely going to put this in my fave list because I really like that. Those three together are amazing. I don't know if this camu, camu, camu that I was smelling was like that amazing, amazing scent, but it's really good. Uh, last two. This one I have it Hanky Panky. Hanky Panky is pink sugar and grapefruit. Now, I'm not a huge pink sugar fan. I'll be honest. I'm really not. But it had grapefruit, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Yeah, and right now all I'm picking up is pink sugar. Um, yeah, right now all I'm catching is pink sugar, um, so that's a little disappointing. But I think when it cures, the grapefruit will pop in. I have a pink sugar sampler that I got from somebody where it was definitely pink sugar, but you could also smell the other notes like pink sugar and brownie, pink sugar and iced tea, pink sugar and something else. But you could always taste, taste. You could always smell the other note. With that one, I cannot smell the grapefruit yet, but I'm hoping that I will be able to once it cures. Um, brown sugar cornbread. Now, I love cornbread scents. Love them, love them, love them. In fact, I just did a scent, um, like a scent mixer in a different, for a different vendor. And, um, the top 10, which I was number three, I believe, got to be in a sampler, um, pack for them, which was super cool. This is amazing. Um, brown sugar and cornbread. Ugh. I could smell this all day. This is just amazing. Love it. Um, so that is it, guys. So I guess that is it. An hour later. My videos just don't, I'm not getting any shorter. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will post this in Happy hopes um group happy hippie sense i'll post all the information below i'll post it in candles anonymous um there wasn't anything that i was like ew on so i'm really really excited to let this stuff cure and get melting because it's amazing i think a lot of this stuff also i'm going to be able to cut in half so that's great so anyway um have a wonderful evening guys and i love you all i will see you next time